Hello everyone, let us see the difference between convert.2 into 32 method and integer parse method in C sharp. Let us see the first difference. Let us see the definition of convert.2 into 32 method. So convert.2 into 32. So it is having total 19 method overloads, right? It takes the boolean value, byte value, character value, date time. So it almost take all kind of data as input and convert that value to the 32 bit integer value. Now let's see the definition of in dot parse method. So in dot parse method. So it is having total five method overloads. It is mostly used to convert the string value to the integer value. Now let us see the second difference. Let's say we have a variable called string my val with value 20 so we are having this numeric value in string format so now let's convert it to the integer using in dot parse so int dot parse method and let's print this result console dot right line there we go now we have the output 20 right so there is no surprise in this so let me do the same thing using the convert dot 2 in 32 method so we get the output 2020 right so 2020 now assume at the runtime my value will be null so in that case what will happen now just run it so we got the exception at the line number 3 so the remaining lines will not be executed and what is the exception argument null exception value cannot be null so now I just comment out these two lines control KC and just clear the output window and run it again dot net run now we can see that instead of getting an error we got the warning of course but we got the value 0 so 2 into 32 method will return the value 0 whenever the input is null we got the warning though converting null literal or possible null value to null nullable type so this is the major difference Starting we have already discussed that 2 into 32 method can convert any kind of value so we can just say true now if you go and execute we are going to get the value 1 so 1 the same way if we give the false we get the value 0 so in dot net true evaluates to 1 whereas false evaluates to 0 almost all program languages follow the same now let us see the third point for example the my value is containing the value that is not number value like you know something d34 something and if you try to convert it we obviously get the error right so so what error we will be getting so this is very important thing and if you just run it now dot net run so we got the exception input string was not in a correct format so this is the very common exception we used to get while we working on the dot net applications now how to ensure that input string is in correct format and that can be converted to int32 value so that's where integer try parse method comes in. Comment this entire code, control KC, and let me take this guy to the down. Here we can use int dot try parse, and it's mainly take two parameters: the input value, that is my value, and output. So we need to pass the value by reference. So out keyword, then declare one variable called result. So int result. So the converted value so the converted value will be stored in this result variable this inter try parse method will return a boolean value if the input string can be converted to number then it returns true otherwise it returns false bool is number equal to inter try parse so now by checking the is number value we can ensure that if input string was in correct format to convert to a number or not if is number so if is number is true so dot log we can simply say result otherwise else string was not in a correct format so dot net run now we got the message input string was not in a correct format now let me remove this d then we have the number 34 and let me run it again then we should get the result that is 32 so sorry 34 so we got the value 34 right and one more important point if this input string was in not in correct format like something like this 
and in that case the result value will be 0 so just print it console.write line dot net run here we can see the value 0 if this video is helpful to you please do hit the like button thank you for watching